Nobody wins when the family feels. Now, Port St. Lucie police investigating an early morning shooting. They say it happened shortly before 7 along Stockton Place. They add that it appears the victim, a young man, was shot multiple times in his driveway. He was airlifted to the hospital. No arrests have been announced just yet, but police say this appears to be a targeted incident. My nigga told me I'm pressed. Made it out with front. Let me give you something special. But you gotta fall back from doing all that ish. Wait, did. Four o'clock sitting here doing a little extra paperwork. Next thing you know, boom, boom, boom. A whole bunch of gunshots go off. Powers was inside his property management company. I got a metal desk, fortunately. I jumped down behind that and just waited for it to stop. I got a, a bullet in the refrigerator, <laughs> actually. And I grabbed my weapon and came outside to see what the heck was going on and make sure everybody was okay. Standing outside his business, Powers started to count while holding his gun. Oh, at least 30-ish. I mean, and I'd say most of them hit the building and, and the cars surrounding. So I, at least 20 of them hit. I mean, there's all kinds of debris all over the building. So after counting the bullets, police moved powers and others in the shopping plaza behind the red tape. We spoke to him an hour after the shooting. We find out there was three or four people shot. Fam, it's been a hot winter in Florida for these rappers. In the span of 24 hours, two rappers been the target of a shooting with one losing their life and the one was speculation of critical condition. Then it went to his brother, and today both went live. But what we do know, his house was targeted. Today, we're gonna talk about both situations. Also, look at the surveillance footage that was provided to the public and go into details on why and how these two rappers was a target of a broad daylight shooting. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle, I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We'll jump right to it. This 21-year-old Julian House, he go by the stage name Rico Osama. He's a rapper. He's most known for a track he released last year, Sleazy Flow, with 37,000 views and counting, where he dissing all his ops and it took the whole song how you tweak it through a phone out of town you ain't no royale on his birthday trying to 23 him cost scene four hit three dead ac straight heads red lights i bet they stop again free case so up by that slam so i can do that plan and tk you sound like sag off scooby doo i'll buy no bitch and gmk i see that tahoe anywhere i'ma flip your will put in innocence in the beat let them say baby i pip you can see he dissing his ops unfortunately it caught back to him now he's a close affiliate to another Florida rapper called Julio Fulio, who's been in the limelight for all the wrong reasons as well. He was just recently shot in his foot. Rico Osama repped the same neighborhood as Julio Fulio. A good kid once played sports. After losing his close friends to gun violence, turned to the streets. What's going on, man? It's your boy Rico Osama, shout out Fuse TV. You know I got a twin with me. Uh, ocean. Yeah, emotion. Yeah, where y'all from though, man? Where y'all repping? I'm from, I'm from Hilltop. I'm from Sitch, well, they call it the Sitch, that's where I'm from. Okay. I'm from Lake Forest, man, but I know a home at the home to A, man. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah. That's what it is, bro. A block, that's what we were up man. What's that? What was your experience like growing up out here in Jacksonville? Being in the Saint, just a different, like, I wouldn't even know how to put it. Okay, I can't even say a different environment because we grew up in the Saint, there. You feel me, but it really ain't shit about it. Just yeah. we we really like my my neighborhood and Fort Field. That shit five minutes away from each other. I'm sorry, I can't dig no detail on something. I can't. Yeah, yeah I feel, you, I feel. You. So uh, you know, what I'm saying, growing up, what was y'all doing before the music, bro? Was y'all hooping? Y'all niggas or y'all just? <laughs> yeah, I, I played football. Yeah, I played football. I played football. Okay, and went. When, yeah. when the uh, when, <laughs> when that stopped, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas just stopped sports and just went head first into like the streets with shit. the music. Like shit, my homeboys, shit, they, they started down for real. I mean, shit, that what made me change. 
Yeah. It was on some shit with me, like, my people. I wanted to make sure my people were straight down on top of that. I was losing all our homeboys and shit, like, our real homeboys. Shout out to Futures TV. If you guys want to check the entirety of that interview out, you guys should go over there and do so. Now, Rico Osama lost his life within the last 24 hours outside of a shopping center, broad daylight. Surveillance footage had picked up what they heard of at least 30 shots, according to authorities. Now this incident happened on November 12th, 2023. Three people were shot. Rico Osama lost his life. JSO said at a press conference at 7.40 p.m. that in addition to a victim who passed away, two others were in surgery. Police did not have an immediate update on their condition. The suspect in the case fled on foot, according to authorities. A crime scene was at the 2000 block of James Road. Police were continuing to process the scene and comb through surveillance footage. The video you guys just saw was from a neighbor's door at 3.53 p.m. Over 23 shots can be heard on the screen. Live surveillance video giving us a look at the aftermath of a triple shooting on the west side, a shooting that left one man dead. <laughs> this business where the video came from says that there's a loud noise that you heard. It's rapid gunshots. The man who died has been identified as a 21-year-old, Julian House. That shooting happened yesterday afternoon. It was around 4 p.m. at a plaza near the intersection of San Juan Avenue and Jamie's Road on the west side. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Macon joining us live where that shooting happened. Khalil, you spoke with people who heard it. Yeah, Joy, and one of the people who heard that gunfire yesterday says it sounded like fireworks going off. And I want to show you, it happened in this area. You can see right here where some of the bullets hit, as well as if we come over here, it also went into this brick here. And the leasing manager who works in this complex tells me all of this was something she never expected to happen. This is video of a business owner's surveillance camera from Tuesday afternoon. In a few seconds, you're going to hear a loud noise. That was gunfire from a triple shooting on the west side, which left one man dead and two men injured. Later on in the video, you see one of the men who was shot appear, and he's holding his side. Once Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department arrives, they help him onto this stretcher. Curtis Sal says he heard that shooting when he was across the street at this bar and liquor store. Just hearing all of those gunshots yesterday, were you nervous? Were you afraid? No. Just... Random gunshots for all I care. While Sal wasn't afraid, Roxy Wingerson says she was. Wingerson is the leasing manager for this plaza where the shooting happened. She says although she wasn't here when everything unfolded, she was concerned for her tenants. I've been here six and a half years. Something like that just does not happen in our little business bubble. And that leasing manager says these bullet holes are from Tuesday's shooting. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office identified the victim as 21-year-old Julian House. While News for Jax was getting video Wednesday afternoon, we saw these two men place a teddy bear and flowers in the plaza where the shooting happened. I tried to speak with them, but they didn't want to. I feel a big cramp in my stomach. And I feel sorry for the parents. Um, sometimes I wonder, was that really necessary? Was that problem really big enough to kill someone? And as I mentioned, JSO did identify the victim in yesterday's shooting. Now, that's something that hasn't been done for a while because of Marcy's Law. But earlier, a few weeks ago, the Florida Supreme Court struck that down. So JSO did start identifying victims again. Reporting live, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The 
local station. Now, the following morning, December 13th, 2023, rumors had circulated on social media that rapper Jack Boy was airlifted after a recent news report had reported someone getting gunned down in front of his home. Now, that turned out to be false. And then the rumors had surfaced that it was his brother. And that turned out to be false because Jack Boy had went live shortly after those rumors. As you can see, Jack Boy was playing a hundred shots by Dolph may he rest in peace in the background. Now for those who don't know, Jack Boy is a Florida rapper who was once close to the Florida rap star Kodak Black. He's most known for a track called Pressure, who released a couple years ago while Kodak Black was incarcerated. Now five days ago, when Kodak Black got arrested, Jack Boy had went live and said the following. Karma that's real. What? Karma say I don't bum. That's all right. One thing about it, I don't wish jail on motherfuckers. I don't know why. A lot of people suck me that shit like I'm going to be happy. And blogs. I'm seeing a lot of blogs watch my story today. Like, you niggas don't watch my story all day. Now y'all want to watch my story. Then I'm like, I just promoted my restaurant. You niggas ain't saying nothing about that. They wait. They waiting for me to say something so they could. Do they click? Gotta watch who you be around. These niggas be, these niggas be downfalls. Oh, a lot of these niggas, 90% of these niggas be downfall. Then that's why I got a problem with a lot of these niggas because I don't be scared to tell them, like, it ain't no friendly extorting me. Like, niggas be trying to friendly extort. Like, know that? When you got some type of money or motion, niggas be trying to be your homeboy. So, like, know that? It ain't really they like, oh, putting down, but a nigga be like, hey, bro, you think I could get this? Or you think I could get that? Or you think I could? Man, you ain't about to friendly extort me. I don't need no shooter, no nothing, no, no him. It's like, hell no. Nah. It's ain't steal your whole personality and all, everything. I'm telling you, fam, it's niggas in Broward right now. I'm beefing with. I never, fuck, we gonna get bigger than Broward. It's niggas in Florida right now. I'm beefing with I never seen before. Don't I get a chance to see you once? It seems five days later, Jack Boy had a close call to one of those people he's allegedly beefing with in Florida, catching up with him. A man was flown to the hospital on Wednesday morning after getting shot in a targeted attack, according to police. The Port St. Lucie Police Department posted on Facebook that officers responded to the 11,000 block of Southwest Stockton Place, located in the gated town park at Tradition Community by just 7 a.m. Police said a man was in Jack Boy's driveway when a shooter came up and shot him several times before taking off in the vehicle. The victim, whose name and age has not been released, was flown to ACA Florida Longwood Hospital in serious condition. Now, Port St. Lucie Police investigating an early morning shooting. They say it happened shortly before 7 along Stockton Place. They add that it appears the victim, a young man, was shot multiple times in his driveway. He was airlifted to the hospital. No arrests have been announced just yet, but police say this appears to be a targeted incident. As we wrap this video up, we want to say rest in peace to the first victim, love and condolences to his family. Also, for the man who was in critical condition, we praying for a speedy recovery. It's an unfortunate situation. These rappers being targeted left and right. Here you have two in the same state. Almost both was gunned down less than 24 hours apart. As more develop, I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.